Okay, welcome to another episode of Let's Go Brown and Green. Today we're going to talk about how to prepare for an acupuncture session and how to get the most out of your acupuncture session. How to get the best results, I guess, setting yourself up for that. So, uh, let me tell you a bit of a story. I do acupuncture myself. I do it, you know, every few weeks or so. Uh, and it gives me, helps me go to sleep sometimes. I put the needles in before I go to bed or... If I'm a bit anxious or something, I'll throw the needles in and 70, 80% of the time you'll feel something. I'll feel something anyway and that's from even me doing it and you get a lot less reaction from doing self-acupuncture as you do going to a professional uh, because you get the energy transferred uh, from the practitioner onto yourself. Sounds wacky and everything but that's, that's what the... Uh, traditional Chinese medicine uh, professionals say that that's what happens. You get a transfer of power and energy, uh, chi. So, you. however, I have had some pretty powerful ones where I've done it myself. You know, I've had myself levitating and everything and just instant sleep. Heart palpitations are a big thing that I get. Uh, so, I... In the last few months, I was doing it, and I was doing it to myself and losing a lot more weight, like a lot of weight. I lost like five kilograms in a few months, and I've been eating a lot, and I wasn't that stressed, but like this weight loss was starting to stress me out. But the other thing I was doing, I was doing acupuncture a bit to see if I could stimulate something or see how the... That's the other thing. I use the treatments to feel... And you can like tap into your body and under. It's like you use the treatments to see what's going on in your body. If you're really depressed or um, as I was a year ago, uh, I was missing my, my child, my baby. And uh, I was just crying in these acupuncture sessions. Healing crisis. I couldn't control it. And um, that's never happened before. And I've never been depressed before. So um, you can really see what's going on in, internally by just doing some acupuncture, I find. So I was doing acupuncture and literally nothing would happen. You put the needles in and 0% out of, I probably did it 15, 20 times, I didn't get any reaction. It was like putting needles in and thinking of acupuncture as a skeptic would, like all you've done is put needles in yourself. Of course nothing's going to happen, you fucking idiot, you know. But uh, that was literally what was happening. And, I was, and I, then I started, because the more needles you put in, generally, I find that the more response you get, stronger response you get. And I was putting up to 20 needles in and getting nothing. And then I thought, well, my body, I'm losing weight. Acupuncture's not even working. Everything in my body is not working properly. So then I investigated. I thought I'd try B vitamins. And uh, to see the, all the nutrients, because nothing's getting absorbed. I started feeling, you know, malabsorption, like giddy and just no energy. Uh, so got on to B vitamins, and B vitamins is a whole other video for another time, but do not, and I will explain what happened, but be very careful starting these. I started B1 and uh, added... And B1 is like the main B vitamin that gets everything else going in your body. It's the it's the starter motor to the engine. Or well, it's a bit more than that. But it's, um, yeah, you need the fuel. It's the engine and you need the other stuff, your minerals and other B vitamins and everything to be well and truly um, in abundance before you, you get this B1 crank and... and my body just gave up. As soon as I put it, I had the tiniest bit of this. Full on side effects. Crazy. And this is normal. That's a paradoxical uh, reaction that you get from these B vitamins. So take them very slowly and carefully. And try not to start with B1. Try to start with your other ones and your magnesium and stuff like that at first. Uh, because we don't want you to just ha look into it. If you're feeling real sluggish and losing a lot of weight like I was. Um, you end yourself up down the hospital and 
no one knows what to do with you because they're like how you had the you had a tenth of a of a you know b complex pill or whatever but it's well known you've got to start slow if you're depleted in this stuff and then you'll you'll get better results um from your body so um after a week of doing this or two weeks of doing these b vitamins and i can now take a whole lot more i've I'm back and alive. I've put on like a three and a half kilograms straight back on. I feel strong, muscly again. Like, I was, yeah, I feel totally changed. Anyway, it was clear that my body was lacking in this stuff. So I then thought this will be interesting. So I then started putting the uh, needles in. And I swear to God, I was getting tingling sensations at the, at the sites. Um, at the puncture points straight away just from putting the needles in i was like wow and then um yeah i lay down and for the first time ever i went like my whole body went numb and my whole it just felt like i was ahead and all my limbs weren't like they were there but they weren't it felt weird it just felt like i was just up here in my own space <laughs> for it was a cool feeling but it's one of the Many things of acupuncture, the many effects of it that generally people get during a, a treatment that I'd never felt before. And, uh, yeah, I was like, wow, this is crazy. And like I said, the points were stinging, they were buzzing. And, yeah, so ever since I've done a few more um, uh, treatments, acupuncture sessions on myself, it's just, just myself. Imagine if I went down to a, the Chinese dude down the road, man. You know, if I, uh, so it was crazy so yeah and I've been addicted to doing it ever since really because it is um it's crazy so make sure you're topped up with everything all your all your minerals all your b vitamins nutrients eat a lot of food uh and it'll definitely help it work uh, that, uh that's just one side of it and which is like the main one that I can say that I first hand know but get your food and your nu nutritional uh, properties all down pat um, and also don't drink any coffee or alcohol you want to kind of go there this is probably your first session that's why you're looking at this video um, you don't wanna, you just want you don't want to take anything no relaxant things or valium or if you're on that stuff that americans are on uh, you don't want to you don't want to take any sedative or anything you might be a bit nervous though because oh, I'm getting needles in me and you know but there's nothing to worry about because the needles don't go in very far at all and uh, they really go in barely anything so don't worry about that but just if you want to get the most out of the acupuncture session these are my tips also studies have proven that you get more energy from a morning um, session as well as you do later on at night and once again that's to do with your body's natural energy just because you've woken up from a good sleep so if your body's strong your acupuncture sessions will be strong too um, and uh, just have a chat and tell the acupuncturist what what your fears are what ask them what to expect they might but let me tell you acupuncture it's all it's all very personal and everyone experiences a different thing even me like i said 70 80 percent of the time i'll get a reaction 20 percent time it won't work at all i won't feel anything doesn't mean it's not working but when you feel stuff working it's like magic uh and that's you just want to go in and relax and nothing can go wrong so don't even worry about anything going wrong it just cannot uh and like I said, if you if you then learn it and and do a bit of a, a acupuncture course and uh, read some books, you can even do it at home as I do. Uh, but yeah, if you just want to go there and and go and you know get the most out of your acupuncture treatment, be relaxed, no stimulants or anything. Although of course you can try with stimulants. I sometimes muck around with coffee and alcohol and things like that to see what happens and yeah you can get some 
Like it's, it's all different depending on your body and your time. You might do the same pins in the same locations five times and get different responses every time and no one really knows how it really acupuncture really works or anything but um or why it works it's just works and uh it's safe and yeah best of luck to everyone out there but yeah definitely your minerals b vitamins number one thing i've ever come across mind-blowing and I'll always be taking a B supplement for that. And these are the uh, uh, needles that I have. And you can buy them on my, on my website. And uh, these are just uh, the individual ones. And you can shoot them in yourself. So I'll show you this. If you ever do, you know, get acupuncture and you, and you want to and you want to learn a few things, uh, I can show you. Don't go doing this on anyone and don't go doing places that, you know, you need to go and talk to someone and get some, get some school and some knowledge, but, and definitely, you know, because you can get infections, you've got to use alcohol and it's not stuff and not stuff to muck around with, but these ones, here we go, boom, you just pop this pin out here like this, these are magic for doing yourself, if you're an acupuncturist. I don't uh, suggest any noob buy this stuff and try this, but you can definitely go get lessons or something, you know. Just pop the little pin off there that keeps it in place and then bang, tap it in. Let go and boom, you're in. You manipulate that a bit, pull it like this, like you're having a shore shank. And uh, yeah, that's what I do to, you know, you got to stimulate the, uh, your needles as well. Experiment with it. That's the thing about being an acupuncturist and learning acupuncture. It's a, I like to think of it as a clean slate. Like every time you do, do a, give yourself acupuncture or give someone you, uh, a patient acupuncture or whatever. It, it's a really an experimental thing. And you've got to think, you know, what points, what locations, what, what's going on. Meridians, uh, things like that. But yeah, B vitamins, my number one tip. 